Hi everybody, this is the Golden Era Bookworm and today I'm going to talk about Steve Reeves and his win in Mr. America 1947. The title is A Legend is Born and by God a Legend was born. When everyone saw Steve Reeves and admired his physique, everybody just wanted to become like him. His wonderful, beautifully sculpted physique was the epitome the absolute highest level of bodybuilding at that time. Steve Reeves was a rising star. In 1946 and 1947 he had won both Mr. Pacific Coasts. I've already done a video on that and I'll provide a card link at the top of this screen. The challenges in the 1947 Mr. America was a hell of a lineup. We had Eric Pedersen, John Farbotnik, George Eiferman, who looked really thick and full, Kim on Voyages, Joey Lauriano, and Kevil or Kevil, I'm not sure how you spell his name or pronounce it, sorry, uh, Daly, who had just won Mr. New York State and the Weightlifting Championships. I'll also do a video on him very soon because um, he was also a, a rising star at the time. Placings in awards, of course, with all these challenges and this incredible lineup of muscle men, Steve Reeves outshone them all. He had uh, also the award for best back. Eric Pedersen came second and also was awarded best aunt. Joey Liriano and the rest, I could say, were placed in what the judges believe were rather controversial decisions. Joe Liriano was placed third, John Farbotnik fourth, and also won best chest. Kim on Voyages, sorry, uh, George Eiferman came fifth, and Kim on Voyages came sixth with best legs. But it is interesting to actually note that the authors uh, of this particular uh, 1947 Mr. America, in this case the author of this um, article from Your Physique 1947 September is Lon. He actually believed that Eiferman should have been in the top three and that Kavil Daly, who as I said had just won Mr. New York State, um, did not even place at all. And I think there was a bit of racism back then because the AAU was well known for not placing, uh, you could say, colored or black people. Uh, in a high position. But anyway, that's another story. Um, even Robbie Robinson has claimed this in his book, The Black Prince. Anyway, I'd like to read some of the uh, paragraphs which I think really uh, display, I, I guess, explain the awe that the audience and crowd felt when they saw Steve Reeves. And whilst doing that, I'd like to go through some very iconic photos that also appear on Your Physique 1947 September which featured the Mr. America report which of course Steve Reeves won. These photos that I'll display right now were taken by Tony Lanza and they are probably some of the most iconic photos of Steve Reeves. Let's have a read. There is no doubt but that there was an abundance of great material in this year's show. Hmm. Hang on. Who would win this time? How would he compare with the previous winners? Would it be the perennial favourite such as Lariano, Janssen, Voyages, or Farbotnik? Let's have a look. There is no doubt. Oops. There is no doubt in my mind or anyone else's I believe but what Steve Reeves justly deserved the Mr. America title. He was the phenomenon of the evening and from his first step onto the platform the show was his. Seldom if ever does one perceive such perfection as this. From head to toe he was the personification of manly perfection. 
I was mainly impressed by Steve's fine leg development, the best I've seen since Grimmick and Pat Ryan. This boy Reeves has shape plus. As I mentioned, he was uh, absolutely adored by everybody and all the reviewers just could not praise him enough. Let's have a look at some more photos. And continue reading. I am sure if one of these ancient Greeks came to life today and saw our new Mr. America, Steve Reeves, he would find it hard to believe that Steve was not a reincarnation of the body of one of those superior beings from Mount Olympus. There's some great back shots of Steve Reeves and I'll continue reading. Yes, Mr. and Mrs. American Public, we have a great winner this year in Steve Reeves. There are great things ahead for this boy and I can see him following the Stardust Trail to Mount Olympus. Good luck, Mr. America of 1947. Steve Reeves show, uh, stole the show, no doubt. And these photos, I hope, reflect the phenomenal development of Steve Reeves at the time. Here is a great uh, uh, back shot of Steve Reeves, tilted, knee to the floor. Of course he won best back, although some mentioned that Cavill Daly should have won. And finally, we have this photo in the middle of the magazine, the centerfold you could say, full pictorial, full page pictorial of what I believe is the most iconic photo of Steve Reeves ever. This was also taken by Tony Lanza. What I love about this photo, and I think everyone else, is the perfection that is displayed by Steve Reeves posing and how he can display his physique in this very simple pose. He looks towards the distance, towards the sun in this case, perfectly tanned physique. His arms are full, not overdeveloped, but just, just perfect full biceps. His chest is thick. When he raises his arms, you can still see his chest. That's how thick his chest was. His lats are flaring and you can see the detail in the serratus muscles. You can see his rib cage as he performs that vacuum. His face isn't grimacing, it's just calm, collected. As I said, he's got a, a, a nice vacuum there, very tight, small waist, giving that wonderful V taper appearance. Phenomenal. His legs are tensed slightly, but still flowing in a nice line with that forward leg slightly bent. Still enough to flex the calves, and you can see the detail in his legs. This is, I think, Steve Reeves most iconic photo. I love it. Anyway, that's the end of this review of Mr. America 1947 won by Steve Reeves. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Leave me your comments. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will see you soon. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.